driven super interesting because it's not just about autonomous cars, it's about fleets of autonomous cars. And it's not just about fleets of autonomous cars, it's about how those fleets of autonomous cars can operate with an ever an eye on what's the safest thing to do. It's the first trial of multiple vehicles. A lot of the other trials in the UK are looking at singles in vehicles. So this is a trial of six autonomous vehicles working cooperatively in a very fixed space that will share information that helps each other improve how they behave. Part of the project is to have vehicles, like this one here, running autonomously around Oxford and London and in between Oxford and London. Well, we're starting the trials in Oxford Centre at the moment. Uh, we'll be moving to London in September. So you'll see these vehicle fleets. We're already out on the roads, testing them. And sometime early next year, we'll be running the whole route between Oxford and London. And then you'll see that spread over southern England as we really try to build this fleet up across the UK and export it. It's really acts as, as a catalyst for us to do something like this. It brings different partners together that perhaps you wouldn't naturally do. So we said, this is what this technology should be able to do. Who are the people that can nail that? And we folded all of these together in a, in a fantastic collaboration here. The consortium has brought together a really great set of partners with different skills. Uh, we have Nominet thinking about cybersecurity. We have Telefonica thinking about communications. We have Excel Catlin thinking about insurance. From Oxfordshire County Council, we'll be getting some information about traffic on the roads from their traffic control system. One of the partners in Driven is TRL, who are super experts in road transport safety. So although we're starting this trial here in the UK, we're already starting to build vehicles in other places. For example, we just built a vehicle in California. Um, but we're also starting to think about how do we then move this from the UK to the rest of Europe, to the rest of the world. Something extraordinary is going to happen from this. And now think beyond vehicles that are on the road. Think about new kinds of transport systems in, in cities. Think about shipping ports. Think about mines. Think about farming. Think about all the places that we move stuff. The kind of technology that we're working on here has a role to play in moving it quicker, faster, safer and more of it.